Hey Internet, Jesse and Anthony coming at you from Ish Guitars with a brand new brand. Uh, this is Takami, specifically the Pro Series guitars uh, we have with us. Pro Series is made in Japan and super, super high quality. They're not the typical G Series that you see uh, made in China in a lot of stores that are three to, you know, $700. These guys start at a thousand and go up to maybe, you know, three or four-ish for their absolute top of the line guitar. But most of them are really incredible values and incredibly high quality. We had what we call a, a road show internally here. We all sit down, play the guitars when we get a new brand and everybody just kept talking about the quality. It's stunning. Um, for example, this guitar here is 1849, um, $1,849. It's got uh, solid rosewood back, solid spruce top, um, an ebony, is this one an ebony board or a uh, rosewood? I can't remember. Rosewood board on that guy. Uh, gold hardware, also their cool tube preamp, we'll get to that in a second, that actually has a 12AX7 tube in there. All these other f features. And this guitar, we put head to head with a HD28 um, that we have in stock and that was like, really good well we're gonna make a comparison video at some point we'll put the link in the description whenever we do it but it was like stunning we were all blown away so um great guitars huge value those are these instruments besides super high craftsmanship and really good value there's other features in these guitars that are special that i think all guitars should have for example uh the split saddle bridge really brilliant makes your intonation so much better and it's as simple as just kind of splitting the saddle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, on some of the guitars, they also have pinless bridges, which are really cool. Uh, again, smart, intelligent design. You just you just put the string through the hole in the back. You have really nice break angle. And you have lots of contact. It's a great bridge, and it makes it a lot easier than trying to stick the pin. You know, everyone knows how much of a pain pins are in a bridge. Come flying out every once in a while. Ab you know? <laughs> when I restring all the <laughs> constantly, I'm hitting the face. So uh, a couple little innovations there. Um, another one is uh, on this guitar, actually, in specific. Uh, it has an asymmetrical neck on it. It's a little bit thicker on the bass side, a little bit thinner on the treble side. And all of these guitars that uh, are here with us today have that cool tube preamp that I was talking about earlier. Now. It's a brilliant preamp. It has a 12AX7 tube inside that runs at a uh, lower voltage, obviously, because it has to off of batteries, but it really does make the guitar sound so good. Really warm. You can actually dial in how much tube you want, um, which is really cool. Um, but on top of that, the preamp itself has a very good built-in EQ, lots of amazing controls, including notch filters and all these different things, um, mid-frequency sweeps, just Things that if you're a, a serious acoustic player that's on stage a lot, you can use this preamp like crazy yeah. um, and not even have to touch an amp. It's, it's stunning. It really is stunning. Um, and again, plugged in side by side, going head to head with, let's say, an LR bags, which we love and we're a dealer for. Mm -hmm. This thing sounds great, only with a, even with a, a, a piezo uh, without even putting an extra input in it um, for a microphone or something. Really, really stunning and included with these guitars at this stunning price point. Remember, if you buy a standard series Martin, and we're a Martin dealer also, so love them, sell a ton of them, but if you buy a standard series Martin, you don't get any electronics. It's true. You've got to go to one of the E models, and usually those are $600 more or so. Um, they're, they're quite a bit more money. So just stunning guitars in the package. Now, one thing I'm going to point out about these guitars also is Basically all of them um, in the Pro Series have laminate sides. Uh, solid back, solid top, but laminate sides. There's actually a method to the madness. Laminate, although that's, it's a scary bad word, is stronger um, for a bunch of reasons that we won't get, get into now. It means that you can end up using it intelligently so that you can brace the top and back less and use that structural side which doesn't really produce any resonance anyway, right? Use that structurality to, to help make the top and back sing even louder. There's some very, very high-end luthiers that still use laminate back and sides for that reason. They're using it intelligently in certain places. It's similar to scarf joints and necks. That's a whole nother conversation and argument there, right? But really, I think, intelligent feature of these guitars. 1849, 
$28.99 for this guy with an Adirondack spruce top, an ebony board, um, asymmetrical neck, really cool. And um, they're just they're just killer. So let's put them in the hands of our stunning rock star, Anthony Saturno, and he's going to give us a little uh, playthrough. This is a P5 DCWB, which is... WB is just the, the cool color variation. Whiskey brown. Exactly. Yeah. Very pretty sounding thing, isn't it? It is. It's got that chime, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's got a very dynamic, you know, really nice low end. Nice we noticed, chime, yeah. We noticed that it really hits the, um, what you want to hear when you hear an acoustic guitar. You want yeah, to have yeah. nice fat bass. You want to have a chime on top. You want to have a center that's full but not midi. It, it nails it. I love, love, love the sound of this guitar. Um, play this one for me real quick. Trade you. Go ahead. You. <laughs> I get really good, I mean, obviously this is a little bit of a Gibson copy, mm. but you really do get that great Gibson-y type of, type of tone out of this. It's, yeah. just, it's really, really unique. Lastly, give us a play on this here parlor. Now the parlor guitar has a cedar top. This is one of the uh, three series, as they call it. So it's a cedar top with a sapelli back and sides. fantastic isn't it it is yeah it's got a huge sound for how little it is too it is now actually i misspoke i forgot this is the cp 400 nyk so this is the we also have the p3 in stock but uh this one actually has a solid hawaiian koa back which is pretty cool um cedar and koa such a good mix it's so pretty oh one thing before we go we're gonna plug in this cool tube preamp so you get to hear it and hear how good it sounds. So why don't you grab this guy? Oof, that guitar gives me the chills. It's, it's literally so good. For 18 points. So pretty. So, yeah, right? It's so good. It sounds so good plugged in, too. Oh, stunning. Mm. Uh, well, if you'd like to buy one, link in description. Also, we're going to have a lot more of these. We have, believe it or not, 51 uh, in total yeah. Pro Series guitars on order right now with Takamini. So, we will be the store that has. Probably the most of them in the country because uh, they don't really get sold in America that much. So we're investing heavy in these guys because they are so good. So that's it. Subscribe, like, share. Um, check these guys out. Call us with any questions and uh, get yourself a talk to me. We'll talk to you soon.